All right, today we are going to be working on the 1994 Plymouth Neon, also 95 Neon, I believe all the way up to the 99 Neon as it became the Dodge in 95. What we're going to do is we're going to put a tow hitch on it. Yes, you heard me correctly. We're going to put a tow hitch. One of, where did it go? Oh, it's underneath there. I wanted to make sure it was going to fit. Uh. Let's get this out of here. All right, one of these. This is what this one looks like for this model. Looks kind of weird. Uh, it might be about a half an inch, too long, quarter inch, but I'm gonna be able to mash it up in there. Anyway, first thing you wanna do is drop your exhaust a little bit. There'll be a rubber clip on either side of your muffler and you're gonna wanna push them out of the way so it can drop and then there's one more right past the rear axle part, suspension. Get that one and then the whole thing will drop down, exposing everything underneath. What this does is this piece here goes on to the actual metal part of the bumper underneath. I'll try to show you here. Ah, right here, this, Let's put some light on the subject. This right here is your spare tire. And then here is a flat part of the trunk area. The part that's at the top is gonna go on that, which that's that part there is gonna go there. And then this, this piece is gonna actually go, let's go further up. This is the actual bumper. See, here's the license plate right behind it is the bumper part. We're gonna go onto this flat piece that's here. It's the most level part. And we're gonna drill four holes into that. And then uh, and then we have to drill four holes into the back side of the trunk for that to work as well. So inside the trunk, let me get up. You need to go ahead and push all of the uh, carpet out of the way. Because right here, right on the inside, this is the flat part that you're going to use for that piece there. It comes with all the hardware. I bought this on eBay. Looks like it's part number 11038 for, 90, for 94 to 99 Dodge and Plymouth Neon. Here's your instructions. It tells you everything you need to know. And it comes with it. So let me go ahead and get this mounted up in there. We're gonna make marks with a marker for each one of these. We're gonna center it with the center of our license plate so that it's centered with the bumper. And then we're gonna try to get those up in there. I'm sure some of you have used one of these, which sometimes they're a pain in the butt, but you screw your bolt into that. And I'll show you here in just a second. Let's get this done. All right, so here we are underneath. And uh, I had to add a piece of wire, okay? Because that thing that I showed you, you got to fish it all the way through to the end over here where the opening is on the side of the bumper. Okay, so here's the end of that. What you're going to do is you're going to take your pieces and you're going to fish it through this. And then you're going to screw your bolt into the end of it. Let me show you what I mean. All right, here it is. See, the spring actually threads onto the bolt. So put that through first and then that. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull it all the way through. Let me see if I can balance this right here so you guys can watch. Okay, we're gonna, I'm gonna push it up so it goes in and then I'm gonna pull this through. See, I've got a little bit of X, uh, wire tied onto the end of that I folded this over so that it would hold the wire and then I'm going to pull this through and then we're going to wiggle it just a little bit and that's why we got to make sure that the threads are all the way on there and then you got to play with it a little bit to get it to fall the way you need it because it doesn't like to go exactly the way it's supposed to every time even though some of these guys are showing you how the video is perfect. It's not perfect. 
it just don't want to go the way it wants to right now. And there is nothing I have to shove up in there right now. Come on. Yeah, so much for that going just perfect on video. Thank you, Kathleen. She just brought me some cold water. trying to get it in but it don't want to fall the way it's supposed to there it goes I think I got it all right Then you gotta be careful not to push this out. And you gotta unscrew the little wire spring off of it without pushing your bolt back up in there. Then you're gonna grab your nut and your washer. You're gonna make this sure this is pulled all the way through. In some cases you can pinch it just a little bit with this so that it doesn't go up in there but you're gonna want to be real easy because at this point you can push this right up in there like so there now it's fished on there now some of you may be wondering what that square thing was what this does right here what this let me see if I get right there okay what this does is it goes in there and then when the bolt goes through the bolt that you're using has a squared end on it that squared end is gonna go into this right here like this and once it's in there this is gonna spin well what that's gonna do is that's gonna lock it in place so that it can't spin anymore when you're putting your nut on there and tightening it down that's why you need those inside there so I'm going to do the one more. I'm going to tighten this up. As you can see, it doesn't necessarily match right up. So I'll have to tighten this up first on this. And then I'm going to slide this in. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm going to slide this into there like that. And then I got to drill four more holes across. And then put some nuts and washers. Wa big washer will go on the inside. There's a lock washer that will go on the outside with the nut here and then the bolt on the other side. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and get, get all these on real quick before I continue. All right, now the instructions do say to uh, torque these. This is a 9 16 bolt. Torque them to 45 foot-pounds, which I've already done. And once I got it in there, this didn't wanna fit exactly, but as I tightened it up, I just basically hit this in like that, and now it's flat. And it kind of pushed this in just a hair. Oops. It pushed this in just a hair so it's nice and tight against it. Now I got to get my drill and I got to drill holes through all of these so that the nuts can go through there. So, all right, I'm going to get that done now. And there you have it. There's the bolts. What I did was I went with a, uh, a, a lot, a half of the size drill bit that was needed and went in this way and then I took the right size and drilled back this way that made it a whole lot easier to get in there and then all I did was I smashed there was two of them that were on these parts right here and so all I did was I put the bolt in there and then I took a hammer and hammered it in to flatten it out so it'd come all the way through and then I just tightened them up as good as I could I didn't go the 45 foot pounds on these ones because all those ones are going to do is they're just it's just a stabilizer this is going to carry all the weight right here i opted not to use the one that they had because i have one that comes out a lot farther and now i just need to get an actual ball that goes on this i have one but i don't have the nut that goes on the bottom so i'm either just going to find the nut that goes on the bottom or i'm gonna buy a whole new ball um the uh, bumper will end up going back over here I'm gonna, I have the clips so I'm gonna go ahead and put the clips back on this is probably gonna go down like that there 
See now that'll go all the way and it'll end up hugging that. Let's see where I put those little plastic clips. I don't have any new ones. Probably need to get some. But they just push back in there. I have the other one over there somewhere. But just push those back in so that it holds. All that does is really just stabilize the bumper from wiggling. And uh, that's it. Put a uh, tow hitch on your neon. Um, don't forget to uh, put the muffler back where it was. And uh, you'll be ready to go. You go out and uh, put a hitch on your neon. That way you can tow up to a thousand pounds. See there? There's my hitch right there on this little turd. I'd really like to uh, go ahead and put it on, put put the trailer on it, but uh, I don't have the uh, uh, proper ball on it yet, so I have to get a ball. I'm gonna have a ball, <laughs> and then uh, uh, we'll go ahead and put a put a load on it and see how it feels going down the road. I don't think I'm gonna have a problem because I mean I can push down on it. I can push 100 pounds down on it. And it squats just a little bit. So as long as I balance it out pretty good, then uh, I shouldn't have no problem. So, yeah. This is the uh, trailer I'll be pulling with it. That little 4x6. And I can put my four-wheeler on it. So, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Uh, sorry it's been a while since I've done a uh, video. I need to do a walk around of the new truck. New truck. <laughs> Look at there. Finally got me a tow pig that way there ain't nothing i can't do except i did sell my trailer it's over at the neighbor's house see <laughs> he gave me uh he gave me cash for it so i sold it to him i didn't need it right now besides if i upgrade i want to get a uh, car hauler uh so that i can put my mini truck on it but i do still have my mini truck so nobody worry it's not going anywhere gina, gina told me i can't i can't get rid of it she said, if we get rid of it, we're going to get another one. So she knows how much I love it. And I get mad and then it, I get I get unmad. Oh, look who's here. So uh, we will see you guys because it's about time for dinner. Look at that. Woo, that's a sexy car. Subscribe, comment, thumbs up for finally getting a how-to video. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next video, right? Yeah, walk around. Later.